No, leave, leave, leave. Don't what investigate. No. Don't investigate. Don't investigate. Don't investigate. Ah! Hey, how you doing? Ah! Why would you? You really got jump scared? I didn't even try to scare you for the intro. Am I really that ugly? <laughs> no, don't be sitting there laughing. I'm not that ugly. Today, we're going to be reacting to paranormal investigations. And as you can see, I have the light off for this video. So if you can't see me and y'all just start joking in the comment section, talking about there's a floating glasses on the video, like where's Mel? Y'all are freaking crazy and racist. <laughs> but we're back with a paranormal investigation FNAF VHS tape. And, um, you know, we saw one a little bit ago. And y'all enjoyed it. We have the lights off this time. You, your lights All better right. be off. Don't be scared. Got a bit of an unusual I'm call scared. today, but Don't be a job is still a job, I guess. You know I, mean? okay. I got a call from a kid's restaurant manager saying that they've been experiencing some weird paranormal activity. Mm. Let's see. The place is called Ready Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, normally, I'd get called into places that are abandoned or at least old buildings that are I'm at least a century scared. old. But, uh... The strip mall itself looks pretty new, and the manager told me that this particular location was opened roughly five years ago. He mentioned that these activities are interrupting businesses, and that they might have to close this location and reopen it elsewhere if I can't figure out what's going on. So let me go ahead and read off a few things they told me. Okay. So, let's see here. Alright. Uh, they've reported that mysterious and disembodied voices can be heard all throughout the restaurant. Company property, particularly the animatronics themselves, will often move around the restaurant during the night, even when the power to the building is shut off completely. Now, why would you think I would go into the building? At night? This is insane. Sometimes said property will mysteriously disappear and then reappear a day or so later. Yes. And then this is one of the incidents they were telling me about where basically a bunch of kids came running out of the bathroom crying because they saw, quote, someone else staring at them in the mirror and that they were speaking in a language they didn't understand. Wow. A few employees will often feel a tense presence when working on or next to the animatronics, particularly at night. Night shift workers have reported seeing children, usually one at a time, walk around the restaurant after hours when the doors are locked. When they go to assess the situation and figure out how the child accidentally got locked in, they are nowhere to be found. Oh and some my have even gosh. disappeared in full view of a few employees. When checking the security camera footage, these children seem to rage in age and wrong. sex, oh but will gosh. consistently look between the ages of 6 and 11. Mm -hmm. And that's all she wrote. So, based off that yeah, information yeah, alone, all my she wrote. guess Just is that this casual. is some sort of poltergeist. Okay. Uh, it does sound like there may be more than one in the building, but of course I won't know that for sure until I can hopefully make contact with one of them. The thing is, if no one's been possessed or has died yet, then it seems these entities may not be violent or demons or anything like that. Maybe. These very well may just be the spirits of actual children who are maybe just lost and obviously confused about what's going on. But again, we'll know for sure until we're in there. All right, I believe that's everything oh I my need. Gosh. And I don't think this dude is a yep, police officer either, so he has no real self-defense at all. So I wonder how this is really going to go. Going in at okay, midnight, basically. Okay, I was told the door should be unlocked and nobody should be inside the building. So, let's see what's up with this place. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. This ain't for me. This is a job someone else has to do. I can't do it. I'll pee myself. I'll be walk in and run out. Okay, so the power to the building should be cut entirely. Alright, that seems to be the case. Okay, so I told them to make sure that the building's power was cut completely, just to make sure, like, if a light turns on or the temperature changes or anything like that, then we could roll out the possibility of it being the power. Also, we need to make sure that it's not messing with the EMF reader. But of course, this unfortunately means that I have to work in the dark. Alright, let's get the EMF reader out and let's see. Well, shit, okay. Where? So I was told that all of their animatronic characters should be on stage and shut down. Where's... And um, there seems to be one missing. Yes. I was told there's a bear, a bunny, a chicken, and a fox. Fox is right and, there. And uh, it doesn't seem like the bear one's on stage. Probably shouldn't jump the gun just yet, though. Maybe one of the employees forgot to take him out of storage or something. Oh, yeah. You just act like these things aren't alive, uh, man. Go ahead and get set up here. Oh my gosh. Like, you know how fearless you gotta be to be in this situation and just be talking so normally? 
Oh, there's an EMF reader. We're basically EMF playing reader picks up. Phasmophobia. If that if that thing hits red, <gasps> why is it going up? No. I'm starting to get some chills right now, so there must be something close. Yes. Must be Freddy. Getting a few blips here and there, but nothing pretty substantial yet. Yep. Oh, yep. Here we go. I think we got something right here. Yeah, it seems to be in this area. Let's go ahead and set up the spirit box then. Dude, he's so casual. Like, you, why don't you bring, like, a partner with you or something? Alright, if there's anyone in the room with me right now, please make your presence known. I need you no harm. I just need to know if anyone can hear me right now. You can either manipulate something in this room or attempt to speak to this device that I've set up for you. What? My name is Sean. Can you say my name back to me? Sean. Whoa, shit. Here we go. Oh. Okay. Just so I can make sure that wasn't a coincidence, can you say my name again? Sean. All right, thank you. So now that I know that I'm speaking to someone, can you tell me your name? Susie. 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 Did I hear you say Susie? Yes. Okay, hi Susie. Is there anyone else in the room with me right now, or is it just me and you? They're here. They're here? Who's they, Susie? What are their names? The kids? Do you know their names, Susie? Alright, well if you don't know, that's fine. Just wanted to see if you did know. How old are you, Susie? Do you remember your age? Eight. Eight. Okay. So you must be one of the children that I've heard about. All right, Susie. I guess more to the point. How did you die? Do you remember how you died? I'm not here to hurt you in any way, Susie. I just want to understand what happened to you and why you're here. If you're uncomfortable telling me... Murder? murder? Who murdered you? Susie? Do you remember this person's name? Freddy? Bunny. Bunny? <laughs> you were murdered by a bunny? Maybe she meant Donnie? Like a Donald? Yeah. Wait, was that a yes? <laughs> Alright then. Uh, how did this bunny kill you? Knife. A knife? Oh my gosh! Susie. Was this a person dressed like a bunny? Yes. Holy shit. Hold up, I have to make sure the camera got that. Oh okay. my Holy gosh. Shit. So there might have been a murder or something that happened here. Restaurant owners said that they had operated here for five years straight and the paranormal activity didn't start happening until after this July. So this may have been something that happened pretty recently. Dude, I would just run outside. I have outside. no idea what that actually means, though. Maybe an employee decided he or she had enough. Maybe some crack job snuck in here with a bunny suit on. Or maybe the spirit's just lying to me. I have no idea. I'll have to show this to the restaurant owners to see if maybe they caught something like that on the security Dude. cameras. But let me just say that these responses are certainly not unusual in a place like this. Also, what's surprising to me is how direct they are. They're fairly coherent and understandable, and I'm getting them within a pretty short amount of time, mm -hmm. which is usually a clear sign that I'm actually speaking to someone. But anyways, let's see if we can make contact again. 
All right, are you still there, Susie? Susie, can you still hear me? Susie? Ah, uh, just lost the signal. If there are any spirits, bro, still I in couldn't, the room I couldn't do a job like this, bro. I couldn't do a job known. like this. I couldn't do a job. I couldn't. I don't know if the camera caught that, but I think I just heard a chair move. Look, right there. Yep. Yeah. That's at least where the sound came from. It's right next to my flashlight, too. Did someone just pull this chair out? Are you sitting down right here? Dude. Oh. Off. Do you want the flashlight off? Okay, those are brand new batteries. There's uh, no way my flashlight just uh, died. No, they turned that off. Yeah, look at that. Still works. Now that the flashlight's off, will you talk to me now? Yeah. Off again? What else do you want me to turn off? To... Noise. Noise? You want me to turn the spirit box off? If I turn off the noise, will you talk to me? Alright, let's go ahead and turn the spirit box off for now. All right, I turned the noise off. How would they talk? Whoever you are, I'm not trying to hurt you. I just want to have a conversation with you. Can you tell me where you are right now? The f is that noise? What the f is that? What? What? Hello? What? I don't know if the camera could see that. No, I didn't see nothing. But I for sure just saw a head stick out and move over there. Oh, no, bro. There should be no one here but me. Watch your corners, watch your corners. Watch your corners. So watch I'm gonna have corners. to rewatch the footage to get a better look at whatever the hell. There that was nothing was. on the footage to see! It looked like a shallowette of a person standing next to these pinball okay. machines. Okay. This person definitely wasn't as tall as me, so maybe it was an apparition of one of the children the night guards keep. <laughs> No, leave, leave, leave. Don't investigate. Don't investigate. Don't investigate. <laughs> Watching this in the dark is something different. Look at that. Now it's locked. Is the other one locked? Yeah, the other one's locked too. Well, I was going to do some stuff in the bathroom to see if I could get the spirit the kids saw to reveal itself, but uh, it seems like the spirit isn't a fan of that. So maybe I could come back tomorrow or something and see if the owners can unlock the door again and maybe take off its hinges so there won't be a door for the spirit to lock, you know? Anyways, I seriously need to check the footage because I need to make sure the camera even got what I just saw a moment Where's ago. Where's that wind coming from? All right, so it looks exactly what I saw, which was pretty much a shadow apparition of someone. I didn't it even see it. It also looked like it could be a small kid, maybe which would make sense if it's one of the children that the night guards were talking about. That just leads me to believe, you know, a lot more than I did originally, that maybe more than one spirit's presiding here. The voice that kept saying, off, off, sounded completely different than the first spirit I talked to, so I don't know. Let's, uh... Go ahead and turn the spirit box back on. See if we can get anyone else here to talk with me and also see if any other activity will happen tonight. If not, then I'm probably gonna call it quits for tonight. <laughs> oh my- Holy sh- Yo, what the f- If not, then I'm probably gonna call it quits for tonight. <laughs> oh my- Oh my gosh. Did you hear that? Did you hear my mouth? My stomach? It's growling! Hello? That's gotta be one of the children. Bro. Check Look at your that. corners. Check your now corners. She's gone. Check your corners. Hold up. Check your Let me corners. Let grab the case so I can see what that's about. 
check your corners. Check your what is that on the ground? What was that? Is that just a reflection probably? Huh, well, okay, we I guess that explains where you were you. the entire time. I'm, uh, oh my gosh, I'm having a bit of a hard time head. believing you were left like that, my though. Hair. I think. I want to at least try to do a session with one of these things, so I guess now's a better time than any to see if these spirits are in fact controlling the animatronics themselves. Going in with the big guns now. Gonna set up an ovulus for this session. So hopefully I can get some clearly spoken words. All right. Is there anyone in the room with me right now? Anyone who'd like to communicate with me? I, of course, mean you no harm. Bro, watch it, bro. I just want to know if someone else is in here with me. Please watch the animatronic, please. You're in a Did, uh, dead end. Did someone here move the... I am. You are? Okay, good. What's your name? Gabriel. 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 All right. Hi, Gabriel. Can you tell me roughly where you are in the room? Bear. Bear. So you're saying you're in front of the bear? Inside. Inside. Oh my god. Are you the one who moved the bear in here? Gabriel, why are you possessing the animatronics here? I'm not gonna assume you're trapped. doing it. Trapped? You're, you're trapped inside that thing? How did you get trapped? Gabriel, I know this may be uncomfortable for you, but I can't help you unless you answer my questions. How did you get trapped in that thing? Okay, well, if you're still troubled by what happened to you, then I guess we can skip those questions. If it means you'll keep talking to me. Okay. Do you remember how you died, Gabriel? Dang, that's a harsh one, too. Murder. There it murder. Is again. Everyone's murder. murder. That's exactly what Susie said. Do you remember who murdered you, Gabriel? Bear? Him. Him? What, what do you mean, him, Gabriel? Do you remember his name? Gabriel, whether you're trying to or not, you're causing a lot of problems for the people who own this place. Now, if you help me out... He must die, 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 die. He will be. Oh my gosh. I assume you're talking about your killer. I don't know if I'm going to kill him, per se, but He's I'm willing to so find him and calm. make him pay for what he did to you and Susie. Now just tell me what you remember of him. Why is he so calm? Did you catch a glimpse of him, maybe? Do you remember what he looked like? What he was wearing? Purple. 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 Okay, purple. Well, at least that's something. Wow. I was told by the restaurant owner that the employees here wear purple outfits. Did this person look like he worked here, maybe? Yes. Yes. That was a quick one. Interesting. Did you ever see his face? Can you describe it to me? No, too dark. No, too dark. Okay, so it must have been too dark to make out the facial features, I guess. Alright, so one last thing I want to ask before I go. I was talking to another spirit here named Susie, and she mentioned something about someone in a bunny suit. Does that sound familiar to you? Gabriel, are you still there? Get out. Get out. Get out. Why? Get out. Get Why out. Do you want me to leave? Get out. Get, get out. out. Get out. Get out. Have I said something to upset you? Get ah! out. What the? Run. Run. Why run. did this just go out? Oh my gosh, bro, dude, get out. Run. What are you doing? Run. What? I'm not. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What I'm the not, fuck? Holy shit. Oh my gosh! Come on, come on, 
gonna turn my light on. Please end the video. Please end the video. Is it locked? Oh, you're done. You're done. <laughs> jump, jump it, jump it, jump it. It don't matter if you cut yourself. Just get out. Holy crap. <laughs> Well, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you guys want to see another one of me react to one of these again, just let me know in the comment section down below. And, you know, uh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm lost for words.